Minister of Health, Dr. Jonas Chanda, has cautioned President Hakainde Hitchima's handlers to help him know how to speak to the citizens, more especially when he feels exhausted with national martyrs. Dr. Chanda claims he is among those who have been taken aback by the President's recent statement upon arrival and all citizens. Hence, he must be careful when addressing citizens, unlike the way he came out at the airport recently. Dr. Chanda says the English words would not dominate public discourse whenever the head of state speaks because uh, such has the potential to plunge the country into chaos. He adds that President Hitchilema should avoid the tendency of lamenting considering his election campaign was anchored on fixing the numerous problems he is complaining about today. Uh, my voice uh, <clears throat> to the statements made by the president, President Akainde Chilema on arrival from the United Nations uh, Climate Summit in uh, Glasgow in Scotland, talking about a clique of thieves and uh, hegemonists who have uh, fed off from the resources of the country since independence. Of course, these statements have, uh, you know, uh, led to a huge, uh, you know, discussion in the country. I think based uh, leading to division, basically very divisive statements that are coming out. Uh, I would urge that uh, the president's words, people who under the president must remember that any word that comes from the president, whether off the cuff or short from the hip, is a matter of, uh, taken as public policy and should not be subject to interpretation using English or grammar. It should be what it is. We should avoid statements that can uh, lead to more divisions in the country. We should focus on uniting the country. And the president has a huge responsibility to be the uniter-in-chief rather than the divider-in-chief. And that is the one Zambia one nation motto that we want to see. We don't want to see politics that are fed by you know divisive statements. We want issue-based politics focused on development. Because if you look at UPND, the basis for their mandate, why their own elections, is on the promises that they made to the Zambia people and they will be judged on those promises in 2026 if they don't fulfill them the Zambians will not accept that so instead of uh, focusing on politics that can lead to you know threaten the peace and unity of the country which can lead to division and chaos let them focus on uh, the social economic development of the country there are many countries where politicians have made uh, careless statements and they've led to untold chaos and misery and suffering, ethnic conflicts, civil wars, genocide, even cessation of countries. Look at Nazi Germany, look at what happened in Sudan, Ethiopia, Rwanda, Burundi, Nigeria had a civil war, South Africa, Angola, Mozambique, the DR Congo, Yemen, Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria, the Balkan countries and many other countries which have, some of them have broken up because of statements from politicians. So let us have uh, issue-based politics focused on development rather than politics that are going to divide us through statements that we have to justify and over-justify. There's only one Zambia, one nation that we have. Hello. Heritage Party leader Tishala Kateka has uh, 